Hey everyone, uh, this is a uh, part two of the video. This is a better explanation of what I was talking about in my last video about the hard drive transfer. So this is what to do after you're done with the Chronos Migrate Easy uh, clone, this clone, or what to do after it. Uh, I had an explanation of what to do, but uh, there was no, you know, graphic of showing you what to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this up close and personal. So this is the <clears throat> SATA 2.5 inch uh, rocket fish uh, internal hard drive enclosure. So it's 60 bucks, like I showed you guys on the link and in the video and stuff like that. I was talking about it. This is the essential tool for the hard drive transfer, and uh, it's 60 bucks. And I think the reason why it's 60 bucks is because uh, it came with this really convenient, useful carrying case. Yeah, that's why, right? So. With this, uh, once you're done transferring uh, all the stuff from your old hard drive to your new hard drive, which is in here, your new internal one, uh, what you want to do is unplug this. And uh, as you can see, with this, uh, it has a lock and unlock. What you want to do is push the unlock. And in the back, it has a, a set for SATA cables, USB, and there's this uh, the power source. And there's this little convenient button called backup. Once you press it and uh, on your computer it uh, automatically backs up and stores all the information in this hard drive which is really convenient I guess and uh, so you go unlock and uh, you gotta have nails to open this thing so there you go and it's open so inside as you can see uh, it has a whole bunch of screws you need to open so I'm gonna do that and uh, it's pretty simple how to do this but I just felt like I had a really bad explanation and I uh, wanted to show you guys how to do it so you just unscrew these and do them really quick what's convenient about when you're done uh, transferring all your old stuff from your old hard drive to your new hard drive you can use this uh, to house your old hard drive and format the old hard drive and uh, use it as a basically an external hard drive so which is always nice uh, but that's not the story that's not the issue we're talking about right now and uh, when you're done unscrewing the top parts uh, for this you can open it and uh, on the other side is the your new hard drive hold on oops my bad so this is the 160 gig hard drive I was talking about the one that I got and all your new stuff is in it. All, well, I mean, all your old stuff, sorry, is from the old hard drive is in this after you're done with disk clone. So, since you're done using the hard drive enclosure, you can just take it out. There's other screws that connects to uh, this. So, you just unscrew them. Oops. Okay. Almost done. Sorry guys. Alright. That's awesome. So what you do is uh, you safely take it out. And voila, there it is. Your hard drive is free. Alright. Now, you want this in this. Alright. That's what you want to do. This is, has more space than my old 45 gig hard drive, which is in here. And uh, all your old stuff is in it, so it's cool. So there's more disk space. So what you do in this case is, uh, what I regularly do is just uh, close it up, uh, unplug the power source, all right, unplug everything else like USB, sound, whatever. That's just what I learned in school a long time ago how to do this. And uh, yeah, this is my uh, laptop. It's Dell Inspiron 1501. This is Ubuntu. I have another hard drive that's running Ubuntu and one running Vista. So every time I want to pop in Ubuntu, I just pop in the hard drive and boot from Ubuntu. But that's a different story, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is a regular uh, Dell Inspiron laptop. I won this for free after high school. It has two USB ports, video, blah, blah, blah. Dial-up, uh, Ethernet, all that stuff, power source. My, uh, disc, uh, my uh, CD drive, DVD drive, I mean, whatever. And uh, SD card. And right here is the most essential part. It's the, this is the hard drive. So what you do, in my case, is what I always do. You remove the battery. So 
Oops. Take the battery out, okay? I'm gonna flip this around so I can show you. And your hard drive is right here. What you wanna do is uh, usually for my laptop and for a lot of other uh, uh, laptops is that it has screws on where the, the hard drive is. But as you can see, I'm missing the screws and this is really bad because if I, let's say I'm doing homework or something and I get pissed off, all right, and my computer's on and I shake my computer, the hard drive's gonna swing out and uh, it's gonna damage my computer. But I don't think that'll ever happen, but you know, try not to lose those screws if you have the same laptop as me. But every laptop's almost different, but almost, but most of them just really, okay, I'm not making any sense, but whatever, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is the, right here, this is the hard drive, so you just uh, easily pull it out. All right, so this is my old hard drive right here. This is my old uh, 45 gig hard drive that came with the computer, and uh, it doesn't do me any good. So it still has all the old stuff on it that I transferred to this. And what you do, you want this in here and this away. So as you, most laptops uh, usually have these tops. Well, actually, I think all laptops do. It's just basically for easy to pull out your computer. And uh, what you do is you want to unscrew them. And uh, what you do not want to do is to lose these screws or you're screwed. <laughs> oh, man. I'm <laughs> sorry. That was stupid. But, uh, yeah, what you do is just take them out. Okay. Okay, so take the top out. Okay. So this is your old hard drive. You can do whatever you want with this hard drive. Like I mentioned before, you can put it your, uh, in your uh, hard drive enclosure in here. And you can format it, act it as a cool external hard drive. Or what I did is I, I put Ubuntu on it and I put it in and just run Ubuntu and see how it works because I'm new to it. And I don't really know much about it. So whatever. So uh, let's just put this aside for now. And what you want to do, this is your new hard drive with everything in it from your old hard drive. Okay, so take the top and put it back in. Oops. Put it back on this, and you put the screw on it. If I can do it correctly. Oops. Yep. Okay. Let me get this last one. Okay. All right. Now it's screwed on. Okay. This is good. So that you can you have the top on, which is really essential to this part of the computer for the hard drive and you just easily put it back in all right then you put your battery back in uh, oops oh crap okay I got it all right then you just put it back to normal connect the power in if you want all the stuff you want in like your mouse external hard drives uh, webcams whatever you want if I can find the USB holy crap okay a mouse a webcam a sound okay then you just open it and uh, it should work alright it should boot up whatever operating system you have. Uh, as I can say, uh, if you're running Ubuntu, it'll, it'll run as Ubuntu. If you're running Ma uh, Mac, it'll run as Mac. This will, yeah, this will work as uh, MacBooks too. So that's nothing to worry about. And this is basically it. And uh, almost done. And let's see if it works. It should work. It should pop up Vista really soon. Yep. Let's see. Microsoft Corporation. And that's basically it. So what happened was uh, all your old stuff from your old hard drive is transferred to your new one to have larger disk space and it works. All right, it's running and uh, I have a larger disk space. So it's finished. And that's basically it. If I if I confuse you in any parts, so comment me, message me or anything. And uh, that's all you need to do. And I'm sorry if I have confused you. And that's all. So uh all right, thanks for watching. Later.